How was that as well? Because her career kicked on. Did you feel as if your career was in a decline while because you were the fucking love rat and that must be difficult boy from the streets. You know the those red fucking those red they, headlines they, destroy they your life. Like, the press kill people. Yeah. And you being the player and the bad boy and you and Romeo doing what he's doing. How was that when it came out? Did her the girl your is it your daughter's mum? So yeah, so, so Javine, because she was another famous singer. So was it her ex man that seen your car outside her house? And you know what? Yeah, I got he stuck you in. Yes, yeah, so I got a fucking snatch to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a little fucking snatch. So imagine snatch. this, right? It's the biggest bullshit ever. That story, uh -huh. right? So the, the the her boyfriend at the time was a producer called KG. He produces for All Saints, All like All Saints. He's an absolute bellend. Do you know what I mean? Like the geezer, and like what it was, um, someone. It was actually someone in her management told him. Do you know what I mean? But do you know what's weird, James? I wasn't even shagging her at the time. I was literally just after, we was doing a musical together. So after that, I just go to her house just to eat food. Still wrong, because I shouldn't be in another woman's, yeah, woman's people house. People were watching this thinking, you're lying <laughs> bastard. Yeah, yeah. No, gospel truth. Yeah. At that time when he apparently seen my car, uh -huh. I wasn't even shagging her. Real, real shit, obviously I did start was shagging he, her. Was he seen her though? I was a, as an ex by then. Do you know what's weird? When I was at the time, uh, this was, when I was speaking to her, she was like, uh, I've left him, but he won't take no for an answer. That's what she was giving me. I can't me. believe it stuck in. And yeah. he, he told Alicia. Then, yeah, so he went and told, because what it was, he knew someone that was affiliated to her. Because what it was, the day that I left Javine's house, this is weird, imagine this. I've left her house, I'm driving home to my marital home, and as I'm two miles from my house, Javine's rang me and gone, she knows, she knows, as I pulled up on my drive, mate. <sighs> The worst thing I've ever had to do, tell a woman that I'm cheating on her. And I'll never forget what she done. I just bought her a dog, imagine that. What kind? Fucking hell, um, lab, a lab, sorry, it was a Labrador. Lab. Yeah, and then um, I've walked in the front room and she's going, do you want some food, Harvey? Thinking, Fucking hell. Yeah, of course I will. <laughs> Sit down, Harv, how was your day? Yeah, fine. Look, swear to God, James, guess what program was on the TV? Tyra Banks show, right, at the time, because it was, what, 2005? Yeah. Guess what Tyra Banks show was about? Cheating. <laughs> did she put that on purposely? I swear. And then she went, this is exactly what she did. She went, she was there watching the TV. You enjoying your food? Yeah, yeah. Pause. My heart sank. She went, how long's it been going on, Harvey? And I went, and that was it, mate. I thought she was gonna fucking kill me, mate. I thought she was gonna absolutely like, it was the worst, to this day, it's the worst two days I've ever spent in my house. Then my mum rang me. You fucking stay in the house, you dirty tramp. You, you've just broke your wife's heart, yeah? You owe her that. You owe her that. So I'm like, <laughs> as well as my agent calling me. I'm in every fucking newspaper now. It's come out in the papers. Now everyone hates me. Love rap. Yeah, love rap. <laughs> my mental health's like, oh my God. So not everywhere I go, it's just, I've gone from being in a celebrity relationship to mm. being loved, to being hated within 48 hours. Yeah. Self-inflicted. 